Okay, this is a new service. Is it new service or you've been around a while? Uh, about six months. Six months? Okay. I the truck in December, so. Okay. I uh, started it kind of in, in January. That is super cool. Yeah, so we use 190 degree hot water, high pressure. Um, spray the inside, spray the outside. Disinfect, deodorize it. Oh my gosh. What a, what a genius idea. Stay there, Nick. Yeah, it works out really well. Everybody I gotta take seems a look to at like this. It. Yeah. Well, the first time around takes a little bit of work, but then subsequent ones, you know, the, the truck does a lot of it. So they go right over there and then high high pressure water cleans them. Yeah, they're actually Italian wine barrel heads. Okay. So, um, you know, they're used in, to clean out wine barrels. So you can kind of see they're a two-way head and they spin around, they're brass head. They spin around um, and then we reclaim all the water here and then we reclaim it in a tank up front as well as in the hopper. Wow. And then dispose of it right in the regular, okay. uh, the regular sewer system so it gets recycled. Customers this month in no, July. Well, 57 signed up this month. Yeah. 250 total. Some wow. are quarterly, some are monthly, some are bi monthly. Just depends. Wow. So, Good for um, you. Yeah. It's working out really well. So, and then we can do sidewalks, driveways, okay. all that kind of stuff. We use the same equipment the hot water, high pressure. Right. And then I've got a walk behind, you know, like a lawnmower. Yeah. And we attach it to a 200 foot hose here. Okay. And we can take care of all that stuff. You can also do some pressure washing. Yeah. I can already tell they're going to be cleaner than what they started with. Yeah. I know they looked pretty nasty to start with. We'll let some of the smoke clear out of here. Hold on, buddy. Yeah, but we're not done yet. Clean. We're, we're going to take care done. of the outside and all that kind of stuff too. Can I so over here. See the green one. This one's going to be a little spraying, so. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
what's that you're spraying in there? Uh, it's just a sanitizer, deodorizer. Mostly okay. deodorizer. Um, but it'll kill anything that's left over that the 190 degrees didn't do. Okay. And then sometimes it takes a little bit of wiping out. How'd you get into how'd you get into this? Uh, last year I was just looking for looking uh, looking to do my cans. I thought because mine had some nasty critters and all that kind of stuff, and then just started doing some research. I'm kind of an entrepreneur by heart, anyways, and uh, saw this and said, "Well, let me do some research." And looked at different companies around the country, and they all seem to be doing pretty well. And so it just kind of turned into turned into going on picking picking this up in December and get going so yeah it's worked out really well for me so still still growing still gonna grow for another couple years because the hardest competitor I've got is I don't you know nobody really knows about it right so you know everybody has window washers and lawn mowers and landscapers and stuff like that mm -hmm. but they don't even know about this so. well I think words gonna travel fast I mean yeah, nobody uh, once people can see in see what how fast and easy this is well the thing I, I look at it is you know I like to mow my lawn other people don't right. um, nobody likes to do this stuff right. so um, as far as you know that goes there's no real satisfaction from a homeowner really doing this one um, doing it themselves that is So guys, if you're looking to get into a side hustle or you're thinking about starting a different type of business that you can do by yourself that might be easier than the business that you're doing. It doesn't require a lot of overhead. It doesn't require a lot of employees. Um, this is just an idea that was born out of somebody who had a desire to clean their own trash cans and how can you take that and spread it and add value to other people? Spiffy Bin, check them out. I think it's a great business idea. Um, and I want to encourage you to think of what great business idea might be lying inside of you that you can uh, approach or take a look at. So don't be afraid of new ideas and don't be afraid to create something that adds value to somebody else. Spiffy them, check them out. Thanks guys.